Hi right, guys, it's Safety Dang here. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to fix your loose steering wheel. Um, you can be checked by grabbing the lower steering column and moving your steering wheel to see if there's play in there. Uh, basically, the first few minutes is going to be basic knowledge of how to take and remove the pieces off your vehicle. Uh, remove your negative battery cable. Go ahead and remove the lower plastic pieces to expose your steering column. For the sake of uploading to YouTube, I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. So I'm going to start skipping through things that I don't think would be too difficult. And go ahead and remove all those um, screws and um, bolts that hold that lower plastic piece in place. There is a hidden one right above your e-brake lever. Go ahead and remove that one as well. And then there are two hidden screws that are under your hood latch. Go ahead and remove those two as well. And then after you do that, you're gonna wanna loosen up the kick panel because you could either remove the whole kick panel and take off all those um, screws for that lower plastic piece on the, like the driver's side door piece. Or you could just loosen it like I did and then move the kick panel back a little bit and then you could just pop it off and set it aside. And then you're going to want to take all the other plastics off um, that wrap around the steering column. Uh, to get to the screws behind the horn, you just uh, rotate your steering wheel left or right in order to get to them. It's fairly easy. And then after you remove all three screws, you just pop it off. You can see me turning the steering wheel in order to get the other screw here. And also a side note, um, you might want to keep your keys in the ignition in order to keep the steering wheel from locking. I would recommend removing, just having just having the key alone without like any other keys on there and just leaving it in there. So the piece comes off, upper piece comes off, exposes um, all the electronics and whatnot. And then after this you're going to go ahead and start removing those electrical clips on the bottom. They're all fairly easy to remove and um, easy to remember where they go. If anything, you just uh, refer back to this video to find out where they go. Uh, for the yellow clip, you lift up on that bracket and then um, same thing as the other ones, you just push, uh, pinch and pull. And then you remove your clock, you just pop it off as well and then disconnect it. Um, as you can see here, just disconnect it and then you just set it aside. The next thing you want to do is to remove your air duct. Just remove that one screw and it, is, it should come right out. There's no other mounting brackets that hold it in place. Then you're going to want to remove your wiring harness from your steering column. It's held in by two plastic um, clips. One seen here and then the other one that's on the bottom side of your steering column. You just pop that off. Once, after you finish that, you're going to want to remove those springs that um, support your steering wheel tilt. Uh, you got to tilt your steering wheel all the way up in order to loosen the tension on them. And then what I used here was a pair of uh, vice pliers. Go ahead and clap them on there really good and then um, pull towards you as well as to the left or the right depending on which uh, spring you're working on and it should just come off pretty easily. And, uh, in the video I only show one side just make sure you, you repeat it to the other side. And after that you're going to want to remove the bottom bolt of the holding the rod in place and then after re you remove that you're going to start removing um, the mounting bracket. There are four uh, black nuts that hold it in place. 
Um, you should start removing three of them. The last bolt is going to be supporting your steering column to your vehicle. So just keep that almost about to come out and then um, when you're when you're ready to take it out go ahead and remove it. Or if you had another set of hands you could just have the other person holding the mounting bracket in place. Go ahead and remove the brake spring from the steering column. And then you can see here the bottom two uh, mounting bolts that I'm removing here. One here and one to the right of the, the column or the rod. So here I'm removing that last nut and then you just give it a good jiggle while you're pulling on it and it should come right out. Alright, so now you're going to want to take off that mounting bracket. Uh, it's held in by two allens and as well as your tilt mechanism. So go ahead and remove those two allens. In the video I only show one side, just make sure you repeat it to the other side again. And then push down on your tilt and pull up on the mounting bracket and it'll come right out. And then to get the rod off by itself, go ahead and tilt it to the side. After you, Once you tilt it to the side, you can just pull out on it and it, it'll come right out. Here you can see um, the little holes for the pins. You could either drill them out and put metal pins in. If not, you could just weld it like I did. Um, here, you could also listen to the, the sound of the play inside the rod. I went ahead and welded it up myself. Um, I try to do light, light tacks in order to save myself in a car accident, but I tried putting it in a vise and it was too weak. So I went ahead and just gave it two better tack welds rather than two crappy tack welds. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and reassemble everything. And then I'd give it a test drive to make sure everything's fine. Um, I had greatly improved my steering response with this um, fix. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at safetydang at gmail.com. Thank you.